What's going on everybody, Vampy V here, and today in this video we're going to be talking about all the Tesla news that has happened. If I missed anything, I am sorry, but I think the biggest thing here to start today off with is the Cybertruck's gone. No, um, the Cybertruck isn't actually gone. It was on the website, if you look here. It was originally up here, and now it's over here, so it probably belonged over there to be honest. Uh, since now it makes sense these are all their current available products but also on top of that the model s has hit 390 miles of range i do believe elon also said that um, you know during the earnings call that it was possible you know the s has already hit larger ranges but they haven't updated their certifications and also that um, recent vehicles will be able to have this unlocked via an over-the-air update so we'll see how that plays out but they also changed the name if you look over here to long range plus uh, he did state that that was needed because of regulations or something like that um, so they changed it to long range plus which is 390 miles which is just below 400 we are right there right here at 400 miles of range which is insane and it's also available at $79,990 I don't know if that's changed we'll take a look at that in a second but we also got we got 19 inch Tempest wheels which are a change here I don't know if these are different I don't think those are sonic carbon turbine wheels that's ex insane $4,500 for some wheels it's definitely a luxury car all right, if we look over here, this is what it used to be, 373 miles. So we got 17 more miles of range added to the Model S, and it was originally called the Long Range. Uh, as you can see, these uh, 19-inch silver wheels. Now we have those 19-inch Tempest wheels. So we got brand new wheels, no keys. Uh, yeah, and the wheels are still the same, 21-inch Sonic Turbine. Outside of that, that's the only real update. And... That efficiency might be due to these wheels if you look they've got gemini wheel vibes i'm getting big gemini feels from this and then also i think the most amazing thing we've got updated range on the model x tons of people love this vehicle because it's their biggest vehicle until the cyber truck uh, so it's pretty big it's a family vehicle you know it's great for road trips or at least that's what people would plan on using it for and it got a bigger increase in range than the Model S did. We've also got same wheels, as you can see. I don't know, maybe they're different. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, long range plus $84,990. No change in wheels here at all. Nah, they're the same. All right, yeah, so we've got that extra range, but if we look here, let's go back. Kind of got distracted. 351, whereas previously. 328 on before the update so we've got 23 extra miles 350 but we're right we're right there at the breaking point guys 400 miles is going to be tesla's first and then once that that's going to put a lot of pressure on rivian um, especially if they're still using 100 kilowatt packs they're just increasing hardware and all of that to increase the vehicle's performance and i guess energy usage which is insane for we're about to break 400 miles now there's one thing that i really want to talk to you guys about so and that's the tesla model plaid model s plaid and so it seems like all our previous predictions may be incorrect so give me just a moment here we're going to take a look at elon's response regarding that so if you look here there was kind of some information going on elon goes all sx cars made in recent months have actually been above stated epa range will be unlocked soon for free via software update 500 miles coming remember 150 mile roadster days um, some double the played s is gonna is probably gonna hit 500 miles unless you actually drive it like it's got plaid mode as elon has already stated that it will have a battery pack larger than 100 kilowatts that's my guess at least now check it there's a tough performance versus range trade-off played plaid played i don't know 
has absurd performance while holding a range roughly constant. So that means uh, presumably we might see 390, 400 miles on it. But if you think about it, because see, look, the performance... Uh, we'll take a look at that in a second, but the performance model S did not change at all, kind of like how the performance 3 lost range, uh, if you get the actual performance upgrades on the vehicle. So, if you think about that, we'll probably see 390, 400. I think they're going to really push to make it 400 to make sure it meets those requirements, because that's going to be the changing point. But, if it's a drivetrain thing they could have that same drivetrain in non-plaid and it could get more miles. We could see that 500 miles on the plaid drivetrain without the plaid feature, if that makes sense. Now, that might not even be offered, but that is my thoughts there. You also see regulations require calling it something else, so we added a plus. But that could change everything so it really depends on how they go about with that i'm really intrigued to see now because that was kind of huge that was kind of a kind of news to everybody so breaking news you probably didn't hear it here first <laughs> all right now let's go ahead and i'll show you see the performance hasn't changed 480 whatever's 348 348 shout out to archive.org i love them and then so we're also going to talk about a couple of other things here so tesla model 3 from gigafactory shanghai uh, has resumed delivery this was the other day so they have continued to start delivering i've seen videos of it on twitter uh all this talk about it which is huge as you can see here there's some photos just them loading them up but yeah the tesla tesla in china is huge just because again all those offerings if you haven't seen my latest video talking on why tesla would get a vehicle like an exclusive vehicle go ahead and check that out i'll put that in here and because it's it's insane like china's got some pretty good offerings as far as all of that goes so the subsidies there make it huge which makes the model 3 ludicrous because they don't pay i believe it's they don't pay sales tax on electric vehicles and then also they get a like tax credit or i think it might be just a straight payout but it's nuts so that's huge news for tesla and then also on the talk of Gigafactory, they were also, I don't know if I have an article. So I don't have an article, but they also were making great movements in Berlin, but then they were also stopped by court order. So we'll see how that plays out. Light coverage on that. Um, but also the standard range plus owners, you guys are getting uh, the rear seats. I believe somebody did a teardown once and were like, yeah, the rear heated seats are still there. Actually, I even think that when they first released it and they were just giving people standard range pluses and then did a over the air update that they had access to the rear seats. Maybe not. I might be tripping. But yeah, so on your standard range plus for $300, which I think is very reasonable, you can get the rear heated back seats. Which I think is interesting because they don't seem to offer it anywhere on the website yet. So that is a completely separate thing that you get an after purchase but that's going to bring in more revenue for tesla which is great and also you know the passengers in your vehicle now can have heated bums which is great so like that was that was huge for me honestly like i really wanted rear seats so but i still think uh, when i when it comes to my time to buy a model 3 i think i'm just going to buy a used one uh, probably a used mid-range or long range i'd like to get an all-wheel drive one if i can find it affordable enough which i might but, you know, we'll see when that time comes. But, yeah, so uh, I'm using this articles from Electric Show. I guess shout out to them. Also, Tasmanian, shout out to them. So, also, uh, it was confirmed that Tesla vehicles are going to be used for the boring company that for the transportation in their tunnel in Vegas. Uh, that they will use Tesla vehicles. It was a project done by Las Vegas for this massive convention center 
in which they're expanding by the year 2021 and they predict that the boring company project will be completed by the end of 2020 they just broke through one of the two tunnels and so now they've got to transport the boring machine over to the other location and start drilling that but then you know once those tunnels are complete this is probably going to be the boring company's first um, commercial project but it'll be really interesting to see so they've broke through that and then also you know they're going to be using tesla vehicles which is super cool more exposure for tesla especially in a hot place like vegas and then finally i think the most important news here we just got it over here on barons because i wanted to give somebody else some exposure too i'm um, just because look at all these ads but yeah, so Tesla said that they were going to do a stock offering. It was essentially $2 billion worth of stock offered. Uh, how many shares was it? I know the numbers here somewhere. Yeah, but they would get $2 billion from selling 2.7 million shares. That was to raise capital. Kind of went against what Elon said, but I do think it was a good move because it allows for another quarter um, to be cash flow positive to increase their cash flow to increase their profit margin to increase their numbers uh, so i don't again you know i'm not insanely savvy in that unfortunately but it does seem like this was a good move it gives them cash on hand to be able to accelerate projects especially with the model y coming and battery constraints plus the future of the cyber truck so we'll see how all that plays out but essentially, yeah, so they offered it at a 5% discount. Um, the brokerage has got um, an X percent or whatever, $9 a share. But yeah, so that's huge. Um, been a huge week in Tesla news. Been really exciting. If you guys liked the video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you disliked it, go ahead and give me a thumbs down. And let me know what you guys think on the stock offering. Do you think that that was a good move since a lot of people are Tesla hold strong? Um, and how do you guys feel about that? And then also, let me know what you guys think about the new model, the new Model S wheels. Do you guys like the Model S wheels? Do you guys dislike them? Let me know. Look at those. I'm with it. I love, I love like all their wheels for the most part. Like if I could, I would own a Tesla in every color with every wheels. But that would be dumb. That would be horrible as far as like hoarding all those cars since I couldn't have, I would have no need for all of that. Plus, we're broke. So, thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, also, welcome all the new subs. And if you're new, feel free to subscribe for future videos. I upload on Monday and Thursday around 10 a.m. Central Time.